Hi folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is JJ and today I have for you the John Pierce Hands Full of Pick collection. And it is a collection of 15 specialty picks made by the John Pierce slash Breezy Ridge Instrument Company. And for those of you that don't know, I actually use John Pierce strings on my art core right here. These are uh, acoustic electric 11s. And um, so all of my jazz videos using this guitar, those are the strings you're hearing. Uh, very good quality, uh, lasting quite a long time. Um, for the amount of playing I do the, on this guitar, which is you know a couple hours every day, you know they last maybe four weeks, a little over a month before their life starts to fade away. And even then they still sound pretty good. So the great strings, I highly recommend. Uh, I also use, um, I also have been mixing in some of J uh, John Pierce's electric strings on my solid body electric guitars and also sounding great, long lasting. Uh, I like to mix it up. I use a bunch of different brands. I don't stick to one, but um, check out the strings. Uh, but the topic of the day is picks. And again, this is hands full of pick. And it is basically a sampling of uh, all the exotic picks uh, that they are, a, a, a bunch of the exotic picks that they offer. And uh, we have five different materials starting right here. We have buffalo horn. Uh, over here we have coconut shell. Right here is rosewood. Right here is ebony wood. And here is camel bone. And uh, you also get three shapes for most of these. Uh, you have a standard flat pick, you know, just a standard pick shape. Uh, you get a dimple pick, which has a indentation for your thumb for more comfort, just a slightly different, uh, and also a slightly different shape in general. And then you have a sarod pick, which uh, is an, a sarod is an Indian instrument. And I guess this is the type of pick they use. I don't know much about the instrument, but uh, these picks have a indentation on the back where your first finger goes. There's that little groove right there. And to be honest, for some of these sarod picks, my first finger, when I hold the pick, it doesn't quite go in that groove just the way I hold it, but you can still feel it. You know, you can still use it as a grip. And um, you know it's interesting to have. It's an interesting feature. So this pack of picks was about 50 bucks, and I got mine from DjangoBooks.com, which was just one of the retailers that carried it. Uh, I'm not sure they're available all year round. Um, on the John Pierce website, it lists them as a holiday special, but it is a little bit out of date. It has the year 2016 on it. So I meant to call them to clarify, but I didn't get around to it. Um, so I will uh, post a definite answer in the comments below. I'll also put the link to their website in the description so you can check it out for yourself. But um, I do believe all of these picks are available individually um, for purchase from the John Pierce website. They're just a little bit more expensive. Uh, everything here, if bought individually, this would total to oh, around a hundred bucks. So the hands full of pick is a really great deal if you can get your if you can get your hands on it. Now these picks are on the thicker side, that's why they call it hands full of pick, because when you're holding one, you got your hands full. That's the pun. But uh, yeah, I think the the thinnest one might be around two millimeters. And some of these thicker ones are maybe like three and a half, four millimeters. I'm not quite sure. I don't know the measurements, but in general, yes, they are, you know, heavier, thicker picks. So they're not going to be ideal for every type of guitar playing. If you're just sitting around strumming campfire chords, yeah, you're, you're probably going to opt for just a thinner, regular pick. You're not going to grab one of these you know, really thick picks and hammer away at your acoustic guitar. But anyway, uh, let's 
getting in some playing, and let's hear how they sound. So I want to start off with these buffalo horn picks, and uh, this is the smoothest material in this collection. And I would say these guys are probably the most normal sounding picks of the group. Uh, let's hear this flat pick here. You know, very big, bright tone, probably the loudest picks we have here. Again, the, uh, you know, the texture isn't much different than like kind of just a regular celluloid pick, like a Fender Heavy or Extra Heavy or something like that, um, but very thick. It feels like you're holding a very finely poli uh, polished stone, so it's pretty cool. Next up, I'm going to try this dimple uh, pick. Buffalo horn, and uh, whoops, and this one is surprisingly uh, a little bit softer than the flat pick. So I don't know whether that's because of the shape. Uh, maybe there's just not quite as much oomph behind it. It's a little bit thinner. And, uh, but I'll say that dimple is really comfortable with my thumb. Uh, next up, the Sarod. It is kind of in between the flat pick and the uh, dimple pick. Uh, Thickness-wise, um, again, very comfortable with the thumb dimple and uh, that indentation on the back for your first finger. I'm kind of doing my own thing there, but... Uh, again, sound-wise, I'd say in between. Subtle differences, but... You know, again, here's the dimple pick. Uh, sorry. And then, one more time, the flat pick. Uh, so you can really hear the difference in loudness there. I'm not picking any harder, I'm not doing anything differently, but uh, again, just a big, meaty pick uh, right here. Dimple. A little bit softer, and then the sarod feels kind of in between. And then uh, we have this uh, albino sarod pick. And uh, I guess it's just uh, made from a different part of the horn. At least that's what the website says. And very similar to the, uh, to the other Sarod, but uh, it actually feels a little bit different, maybe a little bit softer. Really feels nice. Um, So let's move on to these coconut shell picks. Uh, these are the thinnest picks of this group. And again, we only have two shapes, the uh, dimple and the sarod. So I'm gonna start off with the dimple here. And uh, here's what it sounds like. So still pretty bright, you know. kind of has a, a little bit of chippiness to it. Like when you dig in. Almost like it has an edge to it, but uh, it doesn't. It's rounded off pretty good. Um, pretty smooth overall, not quite as smooth as the buffalo horn. So it's a little bit grainier. I'm gonna move on to the Sarod. And this is the thinnest pick of the group. And uh, it's basically just a thinner version of the, uh, of the dimple. And uh, here's what we sound like. So just a hair brighter. You know. Maybe a hair 
they're chippier, but uh, overall, very cool. So I'm going to jump over here now to these camel bone picks. And I'm going to start off with the flat pick. And sorry about the lighting there, try to get you a good look at it. But um, these are still very smooth. Um, and they just have this brushy quality to them, so... If you can hear that brushiness, you know, I'm not really picking any differently. And, yeah, it's very interesting. Kind of hear that chirp, you know, when, when you attack the strings. But again, just the way it, you know, the way it rolls right off the string. And uh, by the way, I am not changing my settings at all in between picks. You certainly can. You can, you know, go, you can fine tune your sound with each one of these picks, but my tone is at about five and my, my volume is at about eight on my guitar. My EQ is leveled on the amp. That's the way I usually record all my videos. And then I go in post-production and maybe take out a little bit of low end, but my tone is staying consistent all the way up, uh, all the way throughout this video. So I'm gonna move on to the dimple, um, sorry, yeah, the dimple bone pick and a little bit thinner than the flat pick. Similar sound. Still brushy. Maybe just a hair brighter, I don't know. I'd say it's a little bit more fluid. Um, let me try that. Uh, and flat pick a little bit, a little bit darker. And then again, here's the dimple. All right, so now this bone sarod pick. This one is an oddball. It is super, super brushy. I don't know exactly why. The, you know, the shape is similar to the dimple, but um, it's a little bit bigger for whatever reason, and it is super brushy. Uh, pretty much to the, I, I would say it's kind of unusable in, in jazz playing. Very, you know, Like, I'm not picking any differently. It's just a very, you know, it's almost like a whisper. It's, it's interesting. Now, it does kind of give you that, you know, labored effect when you're picking. Um, so anyway, that's just the bone sarod pick. And I will say uh, one interesting use for this pick is with some distortion. So I'm gonna do that now, give you a little bit of gain, and it has a nice edgy effect, you know, when I, like you're really digging it. Yeah, you get a really interesting harmonic response. bone sorrowed pick and uh, again oops sorry probably not my first choice for playing some jazz but an interesting sounding pick again here's the dimple and then one more time the flat pick uh. 
Okay, let's move on to the wooden picks. And they're definitely on the grainier side. Uh, if you rub your finger uh, on the picks, you definitely notice a difference in texture compared to the other materials. And these ebony picks are the smoother of the two woods, um, but you can still notice the grain. Um, and here is the flat pick. <laughs> So very nice uh, balanced attack, a little bit on the softer side, which I think is great for jazz. A little bit of brushiness due to that you know, grainy texture, not quite as much as the bone, but um, again, just a very pleasant pick to use. Here is the ebony dimple, which is uh, a good bit thinner than the, uh, than the flat pick and has a, a surprisingly brighter tone. Opinion, much more present. You know, compared to that flat pick. So that is interesting. Still a very pleasant sounding pick to use, feels good in the hand. And moving on to the Sarod which uh, is in between. It's definitely uh, thicker than the dimple, a little bit thinner than the flat pick, and I think the sound is also right in between. Nice soft sound. You know, very, very comfortable to hold. Again, kind of just feeling is some different spots in that groove there, but uh, compared to the flat pick. Yeah, flat pick, bigger, thicker, definitely just has a fatter sound, but still the Sarod has a very nice soft quality to it. And finally we have the Rosewood which is the grainiest texture. And you can really notice that uh, by the touch. I don't know if it's apparent on camera, but you can also you know, visually see a lot more grain, you know, a lot more lines in the surface compared to the ebony and all the other materials. And uh, here we go with the Rosewood flat pick. Actually, let's change keys. Um, So, really nice big fat tone. Of course, great for jazz. Um, you know, a little bit brushier than the ebony. Uh, still a very pleasant pick to use. Uh, again, just great fatness, you know, really beefs up your tone. Um, and then here is the dimple, the uh, rosewood dimple. And uh, it's a different color than these other two, which I was a little bit confused at first when I, when I first got these picks. But you can really see with uh, the naked eye the same texture as these two picks. Um, so I don't know, it must just be a different, different cut of the, of the wood or something, different color. I don't know why it's black. But, um, but anyway, it's definitely the rosewood and a very soft sound. It's a little bit thinner than the, uh, than the flat pick, but it's almost like they, uh, you know, turned down the mids or something. Still pretty brushy, you know, it's got that rosewood texture, 
but interestingly, yeah, just not as much punch as the um, as the flat pick. So then we have the uh, rosewood sarod, which is um, the thinnest of this group. Now, again, all these all these uh, shapes are slightly they vary slightly, and uh, in the other groups, the uh, sarod was the um, was in between. We had the you know the flat pick, which was the thickest. The uh, dimple was the, usually the thinnest, and the sarod was in between. In this case, the, the sarod is the thinnest, actually similar to the coconut shell, where the sarod was thinner than the dimple. But here we go with the uh, rosewood sarod. And this one... ...has a really pleasant soft sound. I think this one might actually be my favorite. Tough to say, but just a very surprisingly, you know, soft yet bold sound, uh, especially considering how, how thin it is. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice. Here is the uh, uh, flat pick one more time. So yeah, a little more punch. Here is the dimple rosewood. Uh, yeah, not quite as much. And then here is the sarod rosewood. Interesting, yeah. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing all these wonderful picks, and uh, I hope I gave you a pretty good idea of uh, each each pick's characteristics. Um, they really are all great. It's hard to pick some favorites. You know, I, I've been trying to play each of them every day for the past couple of weeks, and uh, they're all very inspiring. The craftsmanship is really on point. They're very well made. And um, yeah, hopefully, you know, you can get your hands on some of these and try them out for yourself. Um, if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, check out some of my other reviews and demos. So thank you very much for watching, and take care for now. Bye-bye. So I'm going to start off here with these buffalo horn picks, whoops, okay, let me try that again. And they are the smoothest, um, can they see that okay? That lighting, a little weird, what's the best way to do it? Huh? Uh, Sarod, buffalo horn, so get a good look at the okay. Oh, that is really bright, uh, okay, let's uh, see how we do this. I don't know. Let's go right here to these coconut shell picks. And I'm going to start off with the dimple. Actually, this is the wrong one. Excuse me. The dimple. Okay. Grainier texture if you rub your finger on it. And uh, damn it. Grainier texture of the wood. Oh, f Ebony flat pick here. So 